Right, so today we're going to clean the bike. I'm going to show you what products I use and how I use them because the bike's absolutely riffy. So here we go, this is what we've got. So we're going to use the Lance to snow foam the bike. There's our snow foam foam. So we're going to use those. Although my bike is shaft driven, we're going to use chain and sprocket degreaser just to get any road grease off it. Streak free shampoo. There's our paint polish. We we'll use that. We'll also use a bit of ceramic detailer and a bit of the general extreme bike cleaner. All the products I use are auto bright. That's the only stuff I use. And then we've got our little mitts. And what we will use is this abyss. And this is just for detailing any of the black plastic, just to bring it back to life. And there's my wash mitt. So what we'll do, as you can see, the bike's absolutely riffy. But what I do first is I will give the bike a quick jet wash just because a lot of this is gritty. So I don't really want to be washing that and scratching the bike. So I'll just give it a quick blast over first. So we'll do that. Right, so now it's had a quick wash. I'll put a bit of just the bike cleaner on it. Just mainly on all the bits that are really crudded up. And I can just leave that soaking in. Which is normally all this back end. That normally cops it all. Front wheel and forks get a bit of a battering. And then I'll leave that soaking in for a couple of minutes. And we don't need a lot of this. This is the Autobrite Super Foam. That should do. Okay, here we go. Right, I'll leave that to soak in for a bit. Then what I normally do is I'll jet wash that off, then I'll give it another coat. And that second coating is the one I have to do the washing with then. Right, so that's been standing for a bit. So we'll just quickly wash this off. So now time for the mitt. What I'll do, I'll go all over the bike with this. 
in as many of the little parts as possible. And what I'll do is I'll pay most of the attention to the back end and under here and the front end where all the muck gets chucked up. In between the wheels, in all the spokes. Then what I will do is just before I wash it off, I'll use a bit of the chain and sprocket degreaser just where I normally get any road grease or tar and I'll leave that soak in for a couple of minutes before I wash it off okay time to clean it off there we go so it's washed all the soap jet washed off what we'll do now is we'll dry Right, now time to dry it off. That's mainly dry. I'll give it a couple more minutes and then we'll put a bit of ceramic coating on the paintwork and then we'll use the abyss to clean up the black right ceramic quick detailer put a little spray on and just rub and polish it in you can feel the difference with the cloth as the cloth it slides over the paint. I always ceramic the screen. Just to help it in the rain. Now it's time for the abyss. That's what I normally do. You only need a tiny little bit of this, fill it into the squeeze. Well, I'll just put a tiny bit on the surface. You don't need a lot of this. It doesn't just bring the black up shiny, it also coats it. And then with the other one, we just buff it in. And I normally find that one little application will be enough to go all the way around the bike. Now the only thing I won't put this on is the screen. It works well on all the cables. Brings the cables nice and clean. And that's my cleaning process. So after yesterday's ride, it was New Year's Day. It was a dry day, but the roads were wet, so there was road salt. Went up a few little country lanes, so there was a lot of sludge on the bike. But there we go. Now she looks all nice and clean. So all I'll do now is I'll polish up the exhaust and I'll polish the spokes on the wheels. That's just using normal metal polish. 
So there she is. Right, she's now ready for another road trip. Hopefully a dry one where the, the roads are dry. Right, see you on the next one. Oosh.